So uh, going back to the founding fathers, you already mentioned that Thomas Jefferson was uh, her, like the one she respected the most. Why I is think that? so. Because of the declaration, which she said was the most eloquent political statement in human history. And I think I agree with her, it's wonderful. And uh, the basic ideas of Locke being transmitted into a form that we could act on. In the, you know that Locke, uh, sorry, Jefferson echoed the very language of Locke. Mm -hmm. uh, there are phrases from Locke's second treatise that are in the Declaration. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah. Wow. And he said, if you want to educate a child in our culture and he can only read one book, it should be Locke's second treatise of government. Wow. And so he was very passionate about his attachment to Locke. What about the founding fathers that she disliked, if she had any? I never heard any uh, criticism of any of them. My own favorite, just speaking for myself, is Madison, the yeah. author of the Constitution. Mm. And a, a, you know, kind of second generation after Jefferson. I mean, he knew Jefferson well. He was part of that group, but he was the younger kid right. in the group of founding fathers, but he's fantastic. Franklin as a scientist is wonderful uh, and, and generally is good with some flaws. I'm not one of the pro Hamilton people. I think Hamilton was a little uh, too left wing or collectivist, but in today's context, he would be a giant. I mean, he's all of them are so great compared to the clowns we now have. Right.